units of the Syrian Arab Army SAA recaptured four towns in eastern Hama province, Tuesday, as they advanced within 10 kilometers 6.21 miles of the self-proclaimed Islamic State's IS. Formerly ISIS ISIL regional stronghold at Makarabat. Footage shows units of the SAA engaged in clashes with militants near the village of Salba. The SAA reportedly managed to liberate the towns of Hadal, Rasim Zainab, Thomas and Burghazal. The Syrian Arab army is now closing in on the Islamic State's stronghold, as they look to expel the remaining terrorists from this part of the country. The Islamic State ISIS had another rough day in central Syria, as Syrian Arab Army SAA troops reached the outskirts of the terrorist group's stronghold in the eastern countryside of Hama. Led by the 5th Legion and Kalamun Shield forces of the 3rd Division, the Syrian Arab Army and their allies liberated a large chunk of southeastern Hama, Wednesday, putting their soldiers at the southern and eastern outskirts of Akarbat. Among the many sites liberated by the Syrian Arab Army on Wednesday was the town of al Masharifa, which is located approximately 2 kilometers east of Karbat. During the liberation of al Masharifa, the Syrian Arab Army managed to kill scores of Islamic State terrorists, including several foreign combatants. Below are some of the terrorist corpses that were pictured by the elite ISIS hunters in the southeastern part of Hama. Bashar Assad said that the Syrian army's victories made some foreign countries stop financing terrorists in the country, thus, changing their stance on the conflict. Syrian President Bashar Assad said that victories of the Syrian army and its allies over terrorists have resulted in several states giving up their support for terrorists in the country. Several countries have changed their positions in relation to the victories of the Syrian army and its allies. Most importantly, several countries have taken measures aiming to suppress the financing of terrorists remaining in Syria, Assad at a meeting with Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister Hossein Jabari Ansari, as quoted by the Presidential Press Service. The Syrian president also noted the importance of the assistance provided by Iran and several other states, adding that the project of terror in Syria is defeated, and there is no way back until the total victory and restoration of peace and security in the entire territory of Syria. The Syrian president has repeatedly accused some western states and Syrian neighboring states of allegedly financially supporting militants fighting against government forces in the country. Earlier this month, reports emerged, saying that Turkey had decided to end its support for the National Coalition for Syrian Revolutionary and Opposition Forces, which local experts considered to be Ankara's goodwill gesture toward Damascus. However, Assad said last week that Damascus doesn't consider Turkey to be its partner. Syria has been in the grip of a civil war for over six years. Government forces are fighting against Syrian opposition groups who strive to overthrow Assad, as well as numerous extremist and terrorist groups, such as the Al-Nusra Front and Daesh, 